This book is called Big Al by Andrew Clements. Yoshi is the illustrator. Look at Big Al. What do you notice about him? The little fish are noticing that Big Al looks different from them. Can you see that on the cover? Let's see how the other fish treat Big Al because he looks different. What do you see? What is the setting of this story? Where does it take place? Let's find out where they're at. In the wide blue sea, there was a very friendly fish named Big Al. You could not find a nicer fish. But Big Al was also very, very scary. Other fish seemed to have at least one friend. Some had many but Big Al had none. He did not really blame the other fish. How could he expect little fish to trust a great big fish with eyes and skin and teeth like his? So Big Al was lonely and cried big salty tears into the big salty sea. Why don't the little fish want to be Big Al's friend? Do you think the little fish should give Big Al a chance? Why or why not? Big Al really wanted friends, so he worked at it. First, he tried wrapping himself up with seaweed. He thought it was a great disguise, but no one else did. Who wants to stop and talk to a floating plant that has big sharp teeth. Then he thought that if he puffed himself up round, the other fish would laugh and see how clever and silly he could be. All they saw was how big he could be and they steered clear. Boy, he gets really big, doesn't he? Very early one morning, Big Al went down to the bottom and flopped and wiggled himself into the sand until he was almost covered up. He looked much smaller. When the other fish came near, Big Al talked and joked with them and had a delightful time. But then one scratchy little grain of sand got stuck in his gills and he, and he, he, and he, sn he and he sneezed. When the clouds of sand cleared away, all the other fish were gone. Aww. Poor Big Al. Big Al has a problem, doesn't he? Tell your partner what Big Al's problem is. How do you think Big Al will solve his problem? Big Al even changed his color one day so he could look like he belonged to a school of tiny fish passing by. He bubbled along with them for a while, laughing and feeling like he was just one of the crowd. But he was so big and clumsy that when all the other tiny fish darted to the left and then quickly back to the right, Big Al just plowed straight ahead. He went bumping and thumping right into the little fish. Before he could even say, excuse me, they were gone, and he was all alone again, sadder than ever. Aww. Just when Big Al was starting to be sure that he would never have a single friend, something happened. 
He was floating along sa sadly watching some of the smaller fish and was wishing they would come closer. As he watched, a net dropped down silently from above and in an instant, they were caught. Oh no, what do you think Big Al should do to help the little fish? What could he possibly do? Big Al forgot all about being lonely and he forgot all about being sad. His eyes bulged out bigger and rounder than ever and with a mighty flip of his tail, he opened his mouth and charged straight at the net. The net was strong, but Big Al was stronger. He ripped right through it and all the little fish rushed out through the hole. But when Big Al tried to turn around and go out of the hole, he got all tangled up in the net. He was stuck. The net went higher and higher toward the bright surface of the sea, and the little fish watched Big Al as he disappeared above them. When the little fish were able to speak again, all they talked about was the huge, wonderful fish that had saved them. How great to be free, but what a shame that the big fellow had been captured. Just then there was a tremendous crashing splash above them and the small fish dashed away. Was it the net again? Not at all. It was Big Al. Those fishermen took one look at him and threw him right back into the ocean. What do you think the little fish are going to do now that Big Al is back safe? And now there is one huge, puffy, scary, fierce looking fish in the sea who has more friends than anyone else, Big Al. What have the little fish learned about Big Al? Boys and girls, I'd like you to get a piece of paper and fold it in half. On one side, I would like you to draw a picture of Big Al and the little fish that shows what they felt like around him. And on the other side, I'd like you to draw um, how the big fish and the big fish Al and the little fish look at the end of the story. Label your picture halves, beginning and end. Can't wait to see your work.